you guys pick up your first Big 12 win tonight? How, how does that feel to, to kind of bounce back after Saturday? Uh, it feels good. Um, to, we lost one, you know, a couple days ago, but to, you know, come back against a good team, uh, that's, that's going to battle. You know, that was a war out there. So, you know, proud of, proud of the guys, man, to be able to, you know, pull that one out. And, you know, we got to use that momentum going forward. You guys had a 13-point lead and obviously lost that and battled. And this one had the 15-point lead in Kansas. How do you feel like you guys are growing and responding in these kind of situations? I think we're growing pretty well. I mean, like you said, you know, we we, um, we lost that lead in the last game and we had one this game and kind of let it get close. You know, that's something we still have, still have to work on. But I think, you know, today it was a step in the right direction, you know, because we won and we finished it and, and we held them off. But but I think we can continue to work on that going forward. And, and once we can put teams away, we'll be, we'll be really good. John Michael, you had a good game, and, and Lawrence, you have another good first half, at least tonight. How have you felt your game has kind of developed going into Big 12 play here? Uh, I mean, I feel good. I feel like I'm being able to get more in flow and control in the offense. Uh, you know, I'm getting better looks. You know, at the beginning of the season, I was kind of forcing some stuff. But the coaches cleared up, you know, everything offensively for everybody, you know, on the team. So once we all figured that out, we kind of learned how to play off each other a lot better. And I think that's just opened the rim a little bit more for myself. Do you feel like you've kind of found your, your niche, your role in this group? I believe so, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you say coaches clear things up, what do you mean? Well, they just, well, we were kind of not, we weren't confused about what we were supposed to do, but it would be times where I would bring the ball up and Avery Wood and, and Bryce Wood. So once they just <clears throat> made me the primary point and, uh, you know, BT and Avery was able to just be up scores, you know, once the defense, like, falls on them, then I become available. And it just flows off like that. And once I get going, then he gets going, and then Avery gets going like he did tonight. So it's just, it's a triple threat that, that we worked on in practice, and then it opens things up for the bigs as well. So once once we talked about that, that's when the things started opening. Right, for someone who, who was a part of that group that would bring the, the ball up the court to kind of be more off ball now, do you, do you like that as a scorer or, or what, what's kind of your view on that? Uh, I, like, I like either. I like being on the ball and off the ball. But, but for the sake of this team, I mean, um, John Michael's a, a really a really good, you know, facilitator, point guarder that, that can score. And, you know, I'm, I'm able to excel at the two. So I think, I think that just goes hand in hand. And, you know, I've been loving it. You know, he's been doing a good job of not only finding me, but, you know, finding other teammates. You know, so just helping us run the offense. So, so I think it's very, been, been very smooth. Appreciate For John Michael, uh, they go on that 9-0 run, take the lead. It's it's kind of tense on the court there. What was the message at that timeout, and and you know, how did how did everybody kind of calm down and really get back into that game? We just talked in the huddle. Just remember, you know, we've been in that situation multiple times this season. So. The point was just to stay calm, like you said, um, just talking through what was going on, what we were doing wrong on defense, and just cleaning things up. You know, it was mainly they were getting offensive rebounds. So we knew once we boxed out, got the boards, then we'll be fine because defensively we looked okay. They got a couple open looks, but for the most part, we were we were locking up. So it was just the offensive boards they were getting. How did you, you guys have had some – tough breaks out of halftime and you've ended up losing some games in games you've led in. To finally have one break your way, how's that feel? It feels real good. You know, it's a momentum builder, you know, getting the first rank win in conference against a good team in West Virginia. Uh, it just really motivates us for the Texas game, you know, just to get back in practice and get ready to win that game as well. But it's a great momentum boost. And Bryce, I know you didn't have Musa for most of the game, he came back a little bit, but to have Tyreek really step up there, I think mm -hmm. he played 27 minutes. What can you say about him? Uh, he, he played great, man. You know, he, he's one of the best at, you know, doing his job, you know what I'm saying, coming in, you know, using his energy, you know, to, to generate buckets and, and, and rebounds and loose balls and everything. So he was great, man. He, he's definitely a key factor for our team. And, you know, we need, we need him doing that every night. You know what I'm saying? He's very valuable and we need that. But Caleb Boone, the second half, really kind of seemed like an energizer bunny for you guys. Mm -hmm. and I guess either you guys, can you just talk about kind of the presence he had on the court in there, whether it be throwing the ball off dudes' heads or just getting the crowd hyped up? I don't think KB understands his value to this team. <laughs> and we tell him every day he's he's really one of our glue guys. You know, when KB's gone, when he's amped and fired up, we as a team just come together. You know, so we really get on him in practice and even in the game. So keep his energy high because when his energy is high, everybody responds well to it. So that's what he did tonight. You know, he saw the ball go in the hole and it just, it, it spread across the team and, and we were able to really get in tune with the crowd. And I believe that really won us the game. Does he have a special ability to throw a ball off someone going out of bounds? <laughs> <laughs> <She's> <laughs> like a special Man. 
He must have been coming and practicing that off one of the managers <laughs> or something. I ain't never seen him do that till tonight. But we like that skill. Yeah. <laughs> Is that as physical of a game you guys have played in? Yeah, that's that was definitely one of them. They, I mean, that's that's who West Virginia is, though. You know what I'm saying? You gotta give them credit for going out there and you know doing what they do, and, and it definitely gave them a chance to win. And you know, uh, fortunately, you know the balls fell fell our way today, and you know just gotta commend them. But I'm glad we finished it out. But it, it was a war. It was a war. When you talk about how physical this game was, coming off the grind that that was Kansas, how important of a win is this for a team around the board? Uh, very very important. You know what I'm saying? Because West Virginia is a really good team. I mean, I believe they were just ranked here um, last week so you know to come out and you know beat them you know I gotta give a shout out to you know to our crowd you know our crowd was phenomenal today you know they gave us a lot of momentum a lot of energy so you know I'm definitely grateful for that and I'm glad we could pull it out today. Joe Michael two games in the Big 12 now is it as you expected is it more intense what, what's kind of your view on the on the conference so far? It's, it's as much as they explained it would be you know I'm, I wasn't hit with any surprises because my coaches and my teammates prepared me for the type of teams that we're going to play you know they said it's physical it's hard fought and everybody's good so you know, I, I, it wasn't a shock or anything, but it's definitely living up the part of how they described it. And, you know, got a couple bumps on the face, but, you know, that's part of it. Did you guys know Marcus Smart was going to be here? No, I, I didn't. Mm. It's a cool guy, though. Is that, yeah. is that, mm, what's it like seeing him walk in? And, you know, is there any kind of energy there? You know, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, he was he's really one of the best, you know, to come out of Oklahoma State, you know, thriving right now in the league. So, you know, to have him come here and support us, you know, along with his coach and assistant coach was was, was great, man. It's, it's great to see, you know, people from, from your school, you know, come back and support. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.